Hey guys, what's up? Today we got another package. I think a holster from We The People. So let's talk about it. Alright, I say I think as if I don't know, but I didn't know what this package was and it didn't have We The People's name on it whenever uh, it came in. So I kind of already opened it, so I kind of already know what it is. So part of that anticipation of, of unknowing what exactly it is, is kind of gone. So we'll just make this short and sweet. As you know, the unboxings of these things are not the reviews. And before we really get into it, if you've been following me for a while, you know that I do work with We The People Holsters in the aspect that they send me things and I make videos. They don't pay me. Uh, there is an affiliate link, which the, technically they could pay me through that, so there's an affiliate link down below to where if you go to that link, you buy stuff, then I do get a kickback from what you buy off of that link. It's kind of like how some people do with Amazon where you use the link and stuff, whatever. Anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Um, if you don't like that, don't use it. No harm, no foul. I really don't care. Um, there is a code that I can give y'all that will be down below too for, I think it's like 10% off or something like that. So if you want to use it, use it. If you don't, don't. If you don't like these holsters, then don't watch the videos, okay? But this is my experience with these things so far, and this is what we're going to do. So what we got today is another one of these bags. I think they send these bags with every holster. It's just a little bag you put your holster in. Or this could be, I have used this before whenever I, I think you can see it back there, uh, the suppressor way up in the corner over there on top of that bolt action. I had that thing rebuilt, and I felt like this is the the crown royal bag, right, that you see in a lot of certain individuals' vehicles, and they keep certain things in it. That's all I'll say about that. I had that suppressor all taken apart in a bunch of different pieces and stuff because I needed to measure it and do stuff, and I walked in the, into the gun store uh, with it in this bag, and I felt like this was the crown royal bag of the gun world. Anyway, if you, if you get that joke, you're probably a cop. Um, and if not, then maybe you're on the other side of the fence and let's hope you're not on the other side of the fence. That was kind of crazy, but let's put that guy away for now. Um, we also got some, uh, jerky. Their jerky actually is not bad. Their jerky is actually pretty stinking good for what it is. Bacon jerky, it's actually pretty good. I'm not, this is the only one left that I haven't tried, apple smoke flavor. My favorite so far is the sriracha because I like a little, a little spice in my life a little bit. Um, let's talk about shirts. This is one of the shirts that sent me before. If this sounds too commercially, guys, I'm sorry, but it is what it is, and it's fine. Um, this is one of the other ones they kind of had on their 4th of July kind of sale thing. So I like it. It's cool. It's interesting. Got a bunch of guns in it and stuff, but we'll wear that later. Um, not right now because we're wearing this one right now. This is the holster, but they also sent these things, which this is actually really nice. I like it when a company actually has a decent tumbler, right, a decent cup because really my wife steals mine all the time and I don't get to use it. Um, and if they're really good, then she gets, then she steals them. But this one, let's see, they did last time. Yep, they send you a bunch of swag and things, stickers and whatnot and, and stuff like that. But this guy, I opted for the bigger one. This is a, is this a 32? I don't know. This is a bigger one. If you can see on there, maybe you can see on the light, maybe you can't see on the light. But you got the flag on one side and the we the people on the other side um, and I opted for the stainless steel they have like blacked out ones and then you know the the emblems and the flag and every, all, all that stuff is kind of etched through the darker color right so anyway I think this might last a little bit longer because if you, if you throw these into the I almost said washing machine it is no it's not the what the dishwasher a whole bunch of times uh, they can start to degrade some of the ones I've had before I don't think I've had the ones from we the people long enough for it to really start chipping or doing anything, but I'm trying to get ahead of the curve. So I got this guy. So we'll give this guy a go, and that would hold a lot of coffee. <sighs> go for a bunch of number twos on the range. We don't want to do that. All right, here we go. The main thing right here. This is the Glock 17 2331 MOS Red Dot uh, for uh, Glock holster with a TLR 7A. All that information right there. Probably can't read it. But who cares about that? Let's open this feller up. I... And take a look at it. Now, I usually just go for the all black. Um, that in all, I think all the holsters except for one that I traded somebody else. And this is the first time I went with like this carbon, right? Is that what it's called? It's like carbon fiber, right? You can kind of see carbon fiber looking thing. And this would be interesting to see how this guy rolls. I really don't know. Um, 
I have one other, I don't think I have it out here with me. I think it's stuck in a box somewhere because I want to go to the range. Um, but I've got another holster similar to this, right? This, I mean, it's, it's a We The People holster, but it's for the 48 or 40, 48 MOS, 43X MOS. Um, and it has surprisingly done very well. It was not provided for me. I spent my own money on it. So I can say whatever I want to say about that. I can say whatever I want to say about these. They just may not send me stuff anymore. But this style holster, I like better than some of their other holsters. This is an outside the waistband holster. I don't know what it is about it. I feel like, I don't know if the Kydex is actually thicker. I'm not sure. I just feel like maybe it's having that belt run on the outside helps make it feel a little bit more sturdy. Not sure. I'm not, I'm really not sure. I don't know. Um, and I have nothing against these holsters, right? They're, they're good range holsters. They're, they're good for spare holsters and things like that. Um, but as far as you that, like legitly using, I've legitly used my other holster that was like this for the 48 MOS, legitly used it to carry my gun, right? To still carry and walk around town and do stuff, you know? Um, so I, I really do like it. I can't, I can't say higher things than the fact that I actually use something, right? Her higher recommendations that if I use it. If I use it, that means I trust it. And these ones, so far I do. So this guy, let's put a gun in it real quick. We've got, well, let's try this guy. Take this off, it's not a suppressor one. Take the light off, all right? We've got a TLR7A right here. Almost. All right, TLR 7A. Stick that guy on there. This would be a good test because this is a, this, it, blah, 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 I can't speak. This is a 80% arms lower, right? So not exactly a Glock lower. And a Brownell slide, which can be a little bit bulkier and chunkier. And it has an extended slide catch, or slide catch, well, it does, doesn't it? Yeah, it has an extended slide catch, a cylinder uh, magazine release, and a Swamp Fox optic on there. Hey, there you go. And see something about these ones here. I like these ones better. They click into place. I don't know what it is about it. I don't know if there's anything really different about these, but these are, in my opinion, not bad. These are actually good. Uh, it looks like there's enough room up here to where if you had a forward mounted Iron, right? If you had your irons in front of your optic, in that case, your optic would be back further anyway. Looks like you have plenty of room for that. If you can look down there, this probably will not focus, focus enough for you. But if you look down there, maybe we'll go this way. There you go. You can kind of see there is plenty of room for tall sights. These are these are exceptionally tall sights, right? Um, on the on this on this gun, and they have plenty of room in there to ride inside that that channel right there. So you're not going to be catching on your sight or anything. So yeah, I actually, I actually am, am, am genuinely satisfied and impressed by this so far. The five seconds I've had it, that's my, I like saying that. All right, but the five seconds I've had it, seriously, it, it's pretty good. And I got, I got, this is the, this is the longer one, right? Yeah, 17, 22, 31. And with the Griffin Armament cam lock on the end of here, right? It sticks out a little bit and that's why I wanted the longer one but it still sticks out just a smidge. It, it, about half of that, there you go, about half of that cam lock sticks out, which is all right. Um, I got the longer one to hopefully cover up more, but it's okay. It still covers up more than what it would cover up if it was just a regular 19 size holster. So anyway, guys, that is pretty much that for today. Um, that's the unboxing, right? Not the review. I will get out and use these things and see what I think about it, wear it around. And I think I'm also getting a claw here before too long and the claw again that's on the other holster that's in a box um because i'm getting ready to go to the range uh the claw is just one of those extra little pieces that sticks out and pushes the butt of the gun into you that does work right i'm gonna, I'm gonna make a completely different video on that so i'm not gonna say too much on that but that does work and i have bought one of those other ones one of those other claws uh from we the people not when they sent me i've bought one and i've used it and i like it all right so running that on one of these inside the waistband holsters I don't know if you call that a must, but you're, you would, you're going to really like it. You're going to really like it compared to not having it. So anyway, guys, that's this. If you have any questions about it, let me know. If you have any questions about any of this other stuff, jerky, shirts, whatever kind of things, these shirts actually are nice, and I am going to do a quick little video on the shirts at some point. I don't know if it'll be on my channel or their channel, um, but they're nice. They're soft. They're actually good shirts. I don't like 
the really rough, nasty shirts and stuff that some people have. Anyway, guys, I can't remember his name. Somebody would not like that, right? Mike Pappas, he wouldn't like that, right? Because he likes the thick, the thick, heavy-duty shirts. I like these softer ones because I'm soft. Anyway, hope you appreciate that. Uh, Y'all be good to be safe. If you have any questions, let me know, and we'll get that taken care of in the review. All right? Y'all take care, and hopefully we'll catch you all in the next video.